Hello, Alex Hui here. Last week, I have talked about how nature affects us and how does it relate to our health. In order to be healthy, we have to first achieve harmony between nature and human. And in order to achieve this state, we have to understand nature. One important human invention from observing the nature is a calendar system. So in today and the next two weeks, I will dive into the calendar system and in particular, the Chinese calendar, because that is very related to our health. We can divide the calendar system into three main types. The solar calendar, which uses the sun as a reference, the lunar calendar, which uses the moon, and the lunar solar calendar, which uses both the sun and the moon. Let's first talk about the solar calendar. It is based on the Earth orbiting around the sun once and the time that it takes is called a solar year. There are many different types of solar calendars, but the most popular one is the Gregorian calendar, which most countries use today. And in a Gregorian calendar, a year is divided into 12 months, from January all the way to December. And as we all know, it takes about 365.24 days for the Earth to revolve around the Sun. So that is the reason why in some years we have the leap day, which is on the February 29th. And during leap years, we have 366 days. The lunar calendar is based on the moon. One example of the lunar calendar is the Islamic calendar. And based on the 12 lunar month per year, one lunar calendar year is 354.36 days. The Chinese calendar is a lunar solar calendar system. So in other words, it is a hybrid calendar that combines both the solar and the lunar calendars. For the solar portion of the Chinese calendar, a year, which is the time that it takes from the Earth to revolve around the sun once, is divided into four seasons, spring, summer, fall, and winter. And the reason why we have different seasons is because the Earth is tilted. So in different locations around the orbit, we have different weathers because there's a different sunlight intensity. So each season is divided into six different sections. So in total, a year, we have 24 different seasonal sections, which we call 24 solar terms. And in the next week, I'm gonna be talking about much more details about these 24 solar terms. For the lunar portion, as I mentioned earlier, is 354.36 days in a lunar year. And that is different from that of 365 days of a solar year. And there's a total of 11 days of difference. And that could create some problems. For example, in a lunar New Year's Day, this year it could be in the spring, but other years it could be in summer, and some other years it could be in the winter. So there's no consistency between the solar portion and the lunar portion of the Chinese calendar system. However, it's good that we have a solution. Just like the Gregorian calendar, which adds in the leap day, February 29th, the Chinese calendar system adds in a leap month. So during a leap year, instead of 12 months, there are actually 13 months. And the general rule is that every 19 years, we add in seven leap months. And how does that work? Well, let me explain by using mathematics. For the solar portion, 19 solar years have 6,939.6 days, which is by multiplying 365.24 and 19. And for the lunar portion, 19 lunar years have 6,732.8 days, which is by multiplying 354.36 and 19. So the difference between these two is 206.8 days. And interestingly, this 206.8 days divide by 29.5 days, which is the number of days of a lunar month is seven. So that is why we add in seven leap months in 19 years of time in order to match the solar and the lunar portion. One thing to keep in mind is that the first day of the solar cycle and the first day of the lunar cycle in most cases, it is not on the same day. So for example, the upcoming new cycle of the Chinese calendar, the first day of the solar cycle is on February 3rd, 2021, in Gregorian calendar terms. And the first day of the lunar cycle, which means Lunar New Year, is on February 12, 2021. 
One interesting fact is that the 12 animals from the Chinese zodiac system, it actually starts on the solar cycle, but not on the lunar cycle. So which means in this upcoming year, the year of the ox, it actually starts on February 3rd instead of February 12th. Also, in the Chinese calendar system, we don't use the year 2020, 2021. We have a completely different naming system for the years. And this is not within today's topic, but I will do a video in the future about this. So this is a little introduction to the Chinese calendar system. I hope you find this interesting. Next week, I will be talking more about the 24 solar terms in detail. And then the week after, I'll be talking about the lunar portion. I remember one of my acupuncture professors once said, learning Chinese medicine is not easy because we don't just learn Chinese medicine. We have to learn modern medicine. We have to learn geography, astronomy, philosophy, mathematics, and so on in order to get the whole picture. And I agree, it is um, not easy to learn, but it is very interesting. And the more I read, the more I feel that I don't know. But luckily, I'm really enjoying this learning process. Well, anyways, thanks for watching today. If you have any questions, leave in the comment section below. Stay healthy and I will see you next week.